And this is why I have issues with the freaking super eagles. This is why I have problems with this freaking team. Because this is the kind of sick thing that happens. A gal, a guy who I was, I remember I was, I was watching this with fans and so forth. A guy who missed a golden opportunity to knock out Argentina and Messi, which would have added to my narrative. This dude has now been picked to be inside the squad. He's back from retirement. I think he's playing in the Saudi Arabian League. The Saudi Arabian League. All the guys that play under the bridge. All the guys that play on the streets and on the road. The talent is there. The fact that you can't go out and look at the amazing talents that exist. But instead, you are getting a dude who isn't even available to play. He's retired. So, the most populous country in Africa. A country where football is the number one sport and the most passionate sport. All those people where football is played by everybody on the streets. You can't find another good quality striker. You have to now go and ask a gallo to come out of retirement. You see, this is why I emotionally quit after 98. <laughs> this is why I emotionally quit after 98. Of course, I'll always be pulled in because it's Nigeria and that connection is still there. But I cannot be fully emotional because this is just rubbish and nonsense. This is the kind of rubbish and nonsense that I... I'm not, I'm not young, but I'm too old for this stuff. I have no time for this crap. I have no time for this nonsense. I have no time for this complete and utter stupidity. Because you know what? Don't let me get any rant. Because this is about people. It's about friends. It's about allegiances. It's about people in the NFF who know people. So if you're friends with this guy, he will just make you keep playing. No, but it's not a meritocracy. It's about whether you have alliances in this crap. Look, man.